Hey, it's Connie from Prosperity Finance. Now, recently we got some inquiries about buying apartments、uh, as an investment property. Now, normally when I help clients、uh, with the inquiry, firstly I normally ask、uh, why. Why you want to buy、uh, apartments or rental property? The most common answers are number one, it's more affordable compared to buying a, a house. Now, especially if your budget is limited, let's say you have six hundred k as your budget. Now, to buy a decent quality of house, freehold, is pretty hard in Auckland. However, with apartments, it's relatively easy. You could have many options. Now, the second most common reason of buying apartments as investment property is the good cash flow or good rental yield. Now, we all know investment property. We need to make sure we have a positive cash flow. Otherwise, we have to、uh, tip in more money from our own pocket. Depends, you know, how much you have to contribute. It's a lot of burden for us. So, have a positive cash flow investment property is really important. It also help you to borrow more,、uh, as the rental income is part of your total income、uh, that help with the service ability. However, in today's video, I'm going to share with you my opinion about what are the downside of buying、uh, apartments as rental property, so that you can weigh up the pros and cons and make informed decisions. So. Firstly, normally there is a body cop attached with、uh, apartments or unit title property. The amount of body cop、uh, is driven by the total、uh, body cop、uh, for the whole apartment block.、Um, so, with a very high maintenance, the building like very old apartment building, generally total body cop is higher. Uh, because they need to、uh, spend a certain amount of money to maintain the building. Number two reason is、um, if there's a lot of common area like lifts or、um, the landscaping area, they need to maintain. Therefore, there will be、uh, a higher、uh, body cop amount for the whole building. Then they allocate according to the floor area. So if you have、uh, a good size of apartments. You have to pay more body cop compared to a smaller apartment units in the same building. But generally speaking, we see the body cop vary from three thousand a year to about like ten k a year.、Uh, so it can be really significant. So if you really after the cash flow from that apartment rental property, also bear in mind how much you have to pay for the body cop because your tenants is not going to pay that. It will come out. Out of、uh, your pocket, so you need to take into account the body cop、uh, into accounts when you work out the night yield. The second reason that you need you need to be careful with buying apartments for rental purpose is the limited capital、uh, growth. We know with our apartments,、uh, there is only just one base at the bottom. It's not like a freehold; you have your own kind of a piece of land.、Uh, with our apartments, it's really the value driven by、uh, supply and demand.、So、the capital growth normally is quite limited, and also very fluctuates in terms of value. It depends which kind of property cycle you're in. Also, recently, because the Auckland Unitary Plan,、um, there there are more houses to be built under a high density area,、uh, so it's really common to see apartments and new apartments and new terrace houses because that's the trend going forward. So,、um, with more and more apartments being built, especially in the city area,、uh, then potentially there there will be、uh, more supply than the demand. Therefore, capital growth is even subdued. So be careful with that, because you you not only after the cash flow, you also want some capital growth. Otherwise, the cash flow won't make you wealthy, right? So it's a cash,、uh, it's a capital growth. The next point is、um, apartments. If it's leaky, then despite is your own unit or any parts of the apartments, even the common area like car park or or other parts of、uh, the. Building, then you have to pay the bill as well. Now, normally, if that's happened,、uh, bank、uh, will get notified.、Uh, this apartment block is、uh, is leaky,、uh, so they will no longer take 
your apartments as a security. Uh, so that's number one issue. Number two issue is if it's a leaky, the bank won't uh, fund you uh, the repair. So you have to find the money somewhere else. Um, so it's a chicken egg thing. You know, sometimes you need the extra money uh, to, to pay for the repair. But the bank say, I'm not going to finance that unless it's not leaky. So it's become a dilemma, right? So be careful uh, with the apartment if it's, you know, has a leaky uh, potential. Now, the next thing is about finance. It's quite tricky, especially when we are going through the slum property cycle where the property actually uh, dropped in value or we're going through economic downturn like now. Uh, we have COVID-19. Now, bank policy for apartments purchase changed rapidly. Now, recently, we, we saw a bank uh, reduce the LVR for apartments to 65%, despite the normal LVR is 80 or 70, depends on what the purpose of the property. So they reduce the LVR because they want to reduce uh, their risk. So apartment, because of the volatile, bank is really careful about that. So normally when you want to finance the apartments, the bank want to know what is the size of the apartment. If it's too small, the bank uh, may not fund it at all or only uh, lend 50% uh, on the value. Now, what is the minimum size? It actually depends which bank you talk about. Start from the 40 square meter. So I'm talking about the uh, floor area that excluding a balcony size. So if the floor area is 40 square meter uh, or, or, or more, then you probably uh, have a better chance uh, to get a finance. So uh, some bank use 40, some bank use 50. Uh, some bank's size is driven by number of bedroom. If a one bedroom need to be minimum 45, if a two, uh, the minimum is 55 square meter. So it says that matters. So smaller apartments like less than 40 square meter is really hard to get a finance for. You probably um, experience uh, reducing value uh, for the apartment at that dramatically during economic downturn. Uh, the bank just not funding at all. Uh, so the only buyer to, to buy your apartments uh, is cash buyers or people who have equity, other property, but they won't just they won't pay market price, get a bargain. Uh, so just be careful. Uh, apartments normally really uh, volatile um, finance policies, so hard to get a finance sometimes. So um, here's some kind of uh, three, four points uh, that potentially the pitfall of having an apartment is a rental property. Now, the point here is not to scare you, uh, not to say you shouldn't buy apartments. It's really just... Uh, let you know the potential pitfalls so that you can weigh up the pros and cons and make good decision. If it's still right um, buying rules, then still go for it. But just bear in mind those um, potential risks. All right. So I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for your time. If you like our video, please um, feel free to share with your family and friends and also subscribe our YouTube channel. Until next time. See ya. Bye bye.